that. Whoa, whoa, shit. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Hmm, if you see or if you know what is happening to me right now, you will pity me because I have just three days to go. Three days for the NBC trade fair and you, you won't even believe that. I've, I've not even made the product that I'm taking for the fair. The product that I'll be taking to the fair, I've not made it. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm actually talking about the Niger Branch trade fair that is happening in Portacot City on the 30th of September and 1st of October. Like, it's usually very massive. The crowd is always... Mm. And I actually applied to exhibit in Portacourt. I was very excited about it, about going to Portacourt. I used to live in Portacourt. I used to live at Rumodara with my sister. Unfortunately, we lost my sister. And I feel somehow about that. So, excuse me, let me. Blessing, I even tripod on and so that my handheld tripod. <laughs> Elena wants to follow me. Uh uh. So, I I just booked my flight. I paid for my flights two days ago and I was like, should I go? Shouldn't I go? I've already paid for this fair like a long time ago. Before the I, I started having like issues, should I go? Will they be will I sell? You know? It's not just about going. How about the cost of going down? My flights to Port Harcourt is one hundred and thirty two thousand naira return flight and that does not include the cost of me going to the airport here in Abuja and the cost of me leaving Abuja, sorry, leaving Portacourt Airport to my sister's house. Thankfully, I still have family living in, in Portacourt, so I won't be staying in a hotel. I'll be staying at my sister's place and then when it's about a day to the fair, I'll move to my brother's place because my brother, Fish Academy, his house is actually closer to the venue and the venue is at Dr. Obi Wali International Conference Center. Please, as, I, as you're watching this video, if you're in Portacourt, come out. Come out and support me because my heart is doing bim, bim, bim. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to expect at all, at all, at all. I don't know if I'm just going to be spending so much money. I don't know. Like, please, God, I am, I am praying to sell. Like, it's not easy. It's not easy to be. It's not easy to do business. Coupled with the fact that I am leaving my comfort zone, I'm traveling, I'm taking my goods from here to Port Harcourt. I don't want to bring back my goods to this place. And for that same reason, I don't know. I've not been able to prepare. Like this thing has been weighing down on me so much. It has been weighing down on me so much, but I want to start preparing now. This is past 4 p.m. of Friday. And I want to start preparing now. And I'm traveling on Wednesday. I have 14 products. My manager sent me a list today and he said that 14 products are low in stock. Like, do you know what it means to produce 14 skincare products? That is what I'll be doing. I'll be producing 14 skincare products in the space of three days Saturday, Monday, Tuesday before traveling. My nails, look at my nails. I won't be making them. I don't think I'll have the time to make it here in Apuja. But when I get to Portacourt, I'm just praying everything goes on well. I'm praying everything goes on well. My husband told me I should do I shouldn't overthink it. I shouldn't think about it so much. What is the worst that can really happen? Even if I end up not selling. But well, God forbid I want to sell. I want to sell. I want to sell because I don't want to cry. Like I do not really I do not want to cry. This thing is <clears throat> this thing has been weighing down on me like it has been affecting me for a long time for for that I, I didn't even know I've thought about it should I just cancel it should I just let my 160,000 naira go but I don't want it to go like I want I want to come to Portacourt I want to be in Portacourt I want Portacourt people to know about it to skin <sighs> but we are going we are going we are doing it we are going to do it okay i'm documenting this thing here for you my family because i want to be able to come back and say yes we did it yes we did it. yes we sold out yes we were able to get back our flight money i want to be i really really want to be able to say that to be honest and 
I've already written down my marketing plan and strategy when I get to Port Harcourt and I pray it works out. I pray it works out. Please pray for me. I'm going to put off this video before the fair. So please help me pray for me and follow me on this journey to this NBC Trade Fair, Niger Branch Trade Fair. This is the biggest, the biggest trade fair, okay, that is going to be happening. And it has a lot of crowd, you know, and buying crowd. So I pray you guys discover me. I pray, I pray Potako people come out. Like if you have families in Potako, share this video with them. Um, I've also put my flyer on the community tab. Please share it. Share it on your status for me. Like if you do this for me, I'll be so grateful. Okay. Share my flyer on your status. Share it in groups. Share it on your Facebook. Share it on your stories. Just put the word out. Broadcast it to people. I'll be so grateful. Thank you. It's been productive. I'm almost done with um, two products. So I have, I, I actually narrowed down the product to seven. So I'm working with seven right now and I'm almost done with two. Like done with the first stage and then I'll be completing it tomorrow, which is on Saturday. So on Saturday, I will come back and put finishing touches. I'm supposed to go and work out tomorrow, but I don't know if that will be possible because of the deadline that I have. So I might not be able to go and I'll come back and finish. And when I come back to complete this one, I'll start at least two more products that I will finish up on Monday because... I don't think I want to come here on Sunday. But if the need for me to come here on Sunday arises, I will gladly come. I will come and finish up. So the earlier I finish up, the better for me. So if I finish up everything on Monday, it will be better than finishing up on Tuesday and then traveling the next day. So if I finish up everything on Monday, I will be able to pack it and send on Tuesday and receive it when I get to... Uh, when I get to wear um, what I cut. And I'm supposed to even send the product early because it might not arrive on time. So I think that is change of plan. I'll be here on Sunday to just kind of finish up. So, so this is what I've been working with. This is what I've been working with. So I actually saw that I have some product here and yeah, some products here. This one, there was no label for it. That is why it's still here. And then this one is just meaning to shrink wrap these ones and then make more products and add stuff. So this is a sample product that I just did. And this is my storage for now. This is where I store my, my containers, my empty containers that I use in production. I saw them here. I'm expecting more containers tomorrow. They just sent it from Lagos, just left Lagos and I'll be out, expecting it to arrive tomorrow. Then we'll stock up this place again as usual. And then I have my labels here. I have the labels here. But I always find myself printing labels every single time. Over here, I have my raw materials. These are my raw materials. I just did production. That is why this place is scattered. It's, it's usually not scattered. It's supposed to be arranged. So these the pouches and some. And I also have some over here. All of these are raw material. There's castor oil. I have um, what is this? These are uh, coconut coconut oil cold press. I have cocomidro peel bitten here. I have uh, vegetable glycerin. Like when I tell you guys that my products are natural, you guys should just be browsing this ingredient. This propylene glycol, and I have. 
not oil, coconut oil. I have grapeseed oil, cold press. Look at it. This one is not is virgin. The color is so thick. And over here, I have some smaller stuff sample and my fragrance, nature's garden, and all of that. Whew. Over here, I have. I have my formulation sheets. I have like when I want to formulate, I come here, I pick out my formulation sheets and we formulate. And look at this one product that I told you I brought out that will be I'll be making body butter, rose water, luxury light lotion, frame and glow oil, face mask, exfoliating toner, vitamin C serum. So first, um actually what I've done today is butter, body butter and exfoliating toner. So tomorrow we go again until we are done with all 14 products. We got what you looking for. What you looking for? We got what you looking for. What you looking for? What I'm doing now is the exfoliating toner. Come and see the beautiful color. I wish you can see. Tamara can do justice to how beautiful this is. Can you see how beautiful, well dissolved and that yellow color? Oh my God, I love it. I'll be adding aloe vera juice to this toner. Also, which has a non-alcoholic. This NA means non-alcoholic. Also, be adding this brain tea extract, the clear liquid. Like, what is an exfoliating toner without brain tea extract? I'll be adding glycolic acid. Actually, I'll be using a, a mixture of glycolic acid and lactic acid with more glycolic acid. So while we are actually making use of this glycolic acid and lactic acid because we are working with ahas, like these are ahas, alpha and drug deal acid and we want to actually exfoliate the skin in a chemical way, like without scratching the skin. So we use chemical exfoliants like this to make the exfoliating toner. And then you're not just going to make use of chemical um, ahas like this. I'm also going to bring down the pH because once I use this, the pH is going to be so high. Like it's not, it's not high. Like the pH is going to be so low because these are acids. So it will be so, so low and not good for the skin. I don't know if you can hear me. It will be so low and not good for the skin so we have to kind of bring the ph up to a normal level of less than 4.0 so i like to stick to about 3.8 because that way we will be able to exfoliate the skin and not just moisturizing so once it's 4.0 and above we are now dealing with we are not exfoliating anything so it has to be lower than 4 in order for us to be able to exfoliate the skin do you understand me? And then I'm also going to add soothing ingredients. Ingredients that is going to soothe the skin after exfoliating. And then also the green tea extract is an antioxidant. Of course, but why would you add an antioxidant? And also ferulic acid, I'll also be adding it here. It's also an antioxidant. I've finished dissolving the ferulic acid already. Let me show you. So this is the beautiful ferulic acid that I've finished dissolving. This is also an antioxidant. It also helps to fight the signs of aging and it firms the skin, of course. So we'll be, I'll be adding this also into our 
exfoliating toner like it is packed with goodness 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 so if you are not using this exfoliating toner why not and also this toner is not to be used every day you know you don't want to be using this type of chemical exfoliant on your face every day okay so use it three times in a week and when you are introducing acids to your face once in a week is advisable and then as you progress twice a week and then three times in a week and it is at night alone when you are making use of this exfoliating toner or any other alpha hydroxic acid like a has ensure that you are making use of a sunscreen if you want to get the best results okay ensure you are making use of a sunscreen in the daytime and use this at night on the appropriate days you have chosen for it For 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I'm adding the fish herbal now. I've added aloe vera juice. 
something from nothing. Life changes, just open the door. But one thing's certain, I'll always be yours. Remove it and I'll show your face. I want to show my face. Yeah. I'm not showing your face like that. <laughs> Elena, how have you been? Yes. I'm back home. I've missed you guys. I've missed you guys. Mama, how are you? How are you? Answer me now. How are you? How are you? Mommy, your mommy is fat. Like this girl is just one of those baby stars. Baba, I want to show my mommy. I can't see my hair. How dare I see my hair? How dare I see my hair? How are you? I'm fine. You're losing your hair. Mommy, my hair is not like vulgar like you. It's not like mine. I cut my hair. You'll make your hair tomorrow, okay? Mommy, your hair is like so daddy. I am back home. Mommy! Yes? Mommy, your hair is like daddy. My hair is like daddy? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this girl telling me my hair is like daddy. But you're not wrong. It's true. So I'm back home oh, now. Oh, let me see my hair. And they're right. They can see your hair. So I'm back home now and subscribe, like the video. You're making you're having... video. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.